Thursday morning, everyone. We are about to introduce you to a man who really loves hot dogs. In fact, so much that he trekked to all 30 major league ballparks to find the best one. Yes, this is all for you. And although it's all in good fun, he did not take this endeavor lightly, even creating a scale by which he would judge each and every dog. ABC's Josh Haskell talked to him at New York's City Field. I mean, you take a dog that's open like this and try to get it down the stands through a crowd, you're going to get mustard on somebody. That's why Tom Lohr uses sauerkraut as the final topping on a hot dog. It's a lesson he learned on his road trip, eating his way through all 30 Major League Baseball parks. Well, nothing's more interwoven in the fabric of Americana than baseball and hot dogs. A Navy veteran from Tulsa, Lohr slept in his Toyota RAV4, driving nearly 19,000 miles from April through July. Come, let me show you my house. It gets a little messy as you travel. And the big question is, where do you sleep? There it is. It's a journey that's been done before, but never with quite the emphasis on the hot dog. Is there a difference between having a hot dog outside in the parking lot of a baseball stadium and then having it inside a major league park? Absolutely. It's wide ballparks make hot dogs taste better. I found out that it's usually the sensory input. You got the sun in the face, the crack of the bat, the smack of the mitt, the roar of the crowd. So Lore invented a rating system for the ballpark experience, which includes all that. Then, Tom's invented his own point system for ballpark hot dogs. There are six factors for each dog. Fun, taste, toppings, portability, price, and it factor. Combining the two-point systems, one ballpark received a perfect score. Baltimore's Oriole Park at Camden Yard. Baltimore does a good job of having a great stadium at a decent price, a great dog at a decent price. There's a lot going on in there. Nice soft bun. They got the all-beef Hebrew National Frank in the middle. You got relish, onions, two types of mustard, which really sets it off. Hot dogs, it's what's good in life. Tom Lohr financed the trip on his own and also visited 35 minor league parks, consuming a total of 75 hot dogs. He's now working on a book about his journey, and you can read more about that on his blog. Dan and Brandy. He took this very seriously. All the points you had to hit to qualify for a big hot dog. You look at this and you laugh at it at first, but really, I mean, there's an impact in American culture from the hot dog, from the ballpark, mm -hmm. baseball. So was there a park that kind of didn't rank he didn't relish, if you will. <laughs> there was uh, the Boston Red Sox. It's a very famous park. It's yeah. actually the oldest park in Major League history. But Tom was not a fan of the park's Northeastern bun or what he called their scarce selection of toppings. Well, see, I don't even know what a Northeastern bun is, so this is getting even more serious now that you have a specific type of bun you might not well, like. Well, listen, having spent some time up in New England, so this is basically like where it's not a, a, it's a, not a rounded edge, right? It's almost like two pieces of bread that have been sort of fused together at the bottom. I'm guessing, I don't know if that's what a Northeastern bun is. It was missing bun. that magical quality <laughs> yeah. where the two pieces of bread come together. It was just two individual pieces of bread that had no relationship at all. Okay. Well, now we're hungry, I think. <laughs> Starving for a hot dog. Josh Haskell, thank you so much. for appreciate that.